KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Sullivan. Good evening, everybody. Quick recap here of another hot day. A little cooler in Santa Cruz at 86, but hey, it was 96 in Scotts Valley, low to middle 90s. Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, 84 in Wattsville. The coolest of it right around the peninsula, as you'd expect, but all low 70s to middle 70s for Marina and Seaside. Got to 90 again, though, in Carmel Valley and an 88 in Big Sur. You head inland, it was all heat, 93 to 98 between Soledad, Gonzales, and King City. They busted the record, 87 here in Salinas. So we got close in a couple of other spots, but didn't quite break any more records. Low to mid 90s throughout the Santa Clara Valley, 93 in Hollister. That's the last of the high heat. We'll be cooling off starting tomorrow. 71 in Tahoe, but look at the string of middle 90s going from Sacramento to Fresno. Hey, 106 in Palm Springs, the high heat starting to work into the deserts. A lot cooler actually in Southern California, just 60s and 70s on the coast. They had some of that low clouds. The fog was coming up from Southern California, but didn't reach us today. All of the rest of the low clouds are out here. They're just starting to come around the corner of Point Conception, so they're working up the Big Sur coastline. And of course, we've talked about that. That's just the uh, Sierra snowpack. Area of low pressure up here in the Gulf, a trailing cold front here, so we have two things that will help cool us off. First, the marine layer, which is out here. We'll start doing that tonight and through the day tomorrow and into Friday. High pressure will move out of the way and then we get this much cooler air mass that will start working in on Friday and Saturday, continuing to drop our temperatures. High pressure ridge moving out of the way. So we start the onshore flow machine tomorrow, bringing the cool air in off of the bay. Showers arriving in the Pacific Northwest. Now, usually a lot of these systems will just pass us on by trailing cold front and then we're back to nice weather in about 24 hours. This one's going to be different. This one's going to drop on down. A piece of it is going to swing down the coastline over the weekend, bringing with it cool air, clouds, rain. It looks like in the Sierra, higher elevation snow could be an issue Saturday night on the passes. And then some of that moisture may wrap around and get in here on Sunday. So from about Saturday night through Sunday night, there's going to be the chance of showers. We've seen these before. What generally happens is the low pressure system wraps around and we get the moisture actually moving uh, from the inland areas towards the coast. So it's coming off of the, uh, the hills out towards Morgan Hill and then down towards Santa Cruz, usually staying much drier by the bay, but we'll see how it plays out. That's Sunday, by the way, 8 a.m. And then Sunday evening or afternoon at 4 p.m. Still looking at some rain showers possibly from about Monterey, down along the Big Sur coastline and then into Southern California. It looks very, very light and spotty, but just kind of a heads up that things are changing big time for the weekend. The other thing that will happen, not only will it be getting cooler, uh, but we'll start to see the winds ramping up too, especially on Friday and Saturday. Watch how these arrows start really packing tightly here along the coast, starting Friday afternoon into Friday night and Saturday, a strong northerly wind. That's what's going to usher in the cooler air from up north. That makes sense. And that wind will again eventually uh, start to die off, but it'll be strong on Saturday, a little less on Sunday. Low clouds are going to be part of the program, at least at the coast tonight. They'll probably get into Salinas, and a lot of times they tend to slip down into the Salinas Valley, so we'll see how far they get. Not expecting major inland penetration tonight. Tomorrow we should get back to sunshine during the afternoon. But then again, on Thursday night into Friday, a much bigger push of low clouds. Again, with the area of low pressure moving in to the Pacific Northwest, this will usher in the marine layer in earnest. And Friday, of course, means the valleys will be way, way cooler than they are today and for even tomorrow. 53 to 61 overnight. We'll put the low clouds in by the bay. All in all, mostly clear still for the valleys. And for tomorrow at the coast, low clouds and some patchy fog to start. Then back to mostly sunny mid 60s to middle 70s. And if you're up in the hills or in the valleys, patchy low clouds possible, northern half of the Salinas Valley, and then sunny and cooler, 80 to 90. Still warm, but at least 5 to 10 degrees cooler in most spots, so that's good news. Mid-60s, San Francisco, upper 70s in Fremont. So again, still very mild, and in a lot of cases, still above average, actually, for this time of year. 80 in San Jose, 82 in Gilroy, 81 in Hollister, but we're taking out all of the 90s. We still may just barely get to 90 in King City. 75 here in Salinas. Some of these temperatures are going to be tough because it just depends on how much cool air gets us tomorrow from the marine layer. So I would say it's a low confidence forecast for some of the valley locations. It'll still be mild to warm, but certainly not as hot. Middle 60s at the coast tomorrow. Uh, so again, cooling everywhere, mostly being felt though by the bay. 75 for Santa Cruz, 74 Watsonville. Still some low 80s hanging on for Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond. 
Your KSBW eight day forecast, a downward trend continuing into the weekend on temperatures. So we're back to 60s basically over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday mostly cloudy. Best chances for showers now look like Saturday night into Sunday evening. And again, it looks spotty at best. Monday uh, will keep a slight chance going. And then on next, the following Thursday, another chance with actually a cold front. You can see temperatures really not getting out of the 60s most of the next eight days after we cool off. Same thing for the valleys and hills, mostly 60s over the weekend. And possibly some snow up in the Sierra at about 7,000 feet. Yeah. In fact, I was just reading an email I got from Squaw Valley and Alpine. They're going to try to stay open all summer on Saturdays. Wow. What? <laughs> yeah. They're going to try to move the snow around, and they said they'll have a lift going, and you could hike up to wherever they got open, and, you know, they'll go, they go on July 4th which is the fourth time they did right. that. And then they're going to try to go actually in through the summer, which they've never done before. That's wow. crazy. So let's add crazy. a little snow this weekend. All right.